Now, running has long been considered a good way to keep fit, but what about when you're pregnant? How would you react if you were out in the park and you saw a pregnant woman, maybe a heavily pregnant woman, uh, jogging past you? Well, just this week, a woman in Leeds admitted that she'd had abuse shouted at her while she was running through the park while she was pregnant. We went to Roundhay Park in West Yorkshire to find out what people think about it there. I won't be doing no hard car stuff like running up and down hills and what have yeah. you. Just like some light exercise like yoga and things like that. Eat what you want, do what you want and worry about it afterwards. I don't think they should be overdoing it. Obviously not sprinting or doing a marathon or anything, but I think good walking and it, it sort of, I think when it comes, it, for pregnant, when it, when it comes down to labour time and stuff, maybe it makes helps things a little easier at that point. But uh, yeah, not overdo it, just lightly I think. Yes, gentle exercise. Pilates, yoga, that kind of thing. Well, those are some views. Joining us now is Rob Woolen, who's a personal trainer from and all from London. And also in London, we have Nell McAndrew, a model, mo mother and marathon runner. Now, I'm going to start with you because just to quote what happened to this lady, um, she was running. She was six months pregnant when she was running and she was called a selfish cow. That's the, what she was called and accused of putting her own vanity before her unborn baby. Now, I know you ran when you were pregnant. Did you get any funny comments, funny looks? I think you always had people, you could tell people were judging you and um, so, but I mean I, I, I carried on exercising because it was something that I'd already done before. So I was just trying to carry on as normal as possible. Um, I was advised that my pregnancy was okay and that was fine um, and it made me feel better and happier and, and I can only recommend it. In, in effect you're preparing your body for the birth, I mean you know it's, it's much harder than running a marathon and I wouldn't run a marathon without any preparation. So, Rob, is that the key thing? Consult a doctor first to make sure that the medical advice is that in your particular case, it's OK to run? Yeah, absolutely. There are a few conditions, such as placenta previa or uh, an, an incompetent cervix, where you shouldn't be exercising, or at least without consulting your doctor and checking what you should and shouldn't be doing. But generally, exercise is good for us, and that's no different when you're pregnant. Yeah, I mean, I suppose now, as a mum now, you're used to running around, so it's good mm. preparation for that. Well, well, that's it. I mean, you know, women have been having to carry on for centuries. You know, when my mum, you know, she had four children. She was constantly dashing up and down to school, didn't have time to take a jacket off. She was probably doing a good five miles a day without even realising it and cramming in, you know, cleaning jobs. And, and you just think, you know, a lot of women are actually exercising a lot more than you realise already. And, you know, and there's so many benefits. You know, it can improve your sleep because you, it's hard to get comfortable when you're pregnant sometimes. So if you exercise, that it definitely improves your sleep. It can help balance your hormones, it can help ease your back pain and some women say it actually helps with their sickness, with their nausea as well, just getting out in the fresh air. It is about keeping the balance now as well and Rob we'll get your view on this as well because now um, there was the case of that, the lady at the Chicago Marathon, I don't know if you remember, she was 39 weeks pregnant and ran the Chicago Marathon and actually end up, ended up giving birth later that day. I mean I'm sure most people wouldn't recommend you do something like that. Oh no, I think, I mean there's always obviously extreme cases, but I think everybody, it's, it's, it's down to them really, and knowing your body, and you know your limits. I mean when I was running, I stopped um, when I was 30 weeks, I did my last 10k run, and it was more of a plod actually. Um, so I wasn't out there trying to get a personal best time, it was more about just looking after myself, you know, mentally and physically. And I think really the key message is, it's just highlighting yet again that exercise is important for everyone, whether you're pregnant or not, whether you're young or old, exercise is essential and and it's you know it's very beneficial i mean charities like age uk alzheimer's society cancer research uk they're forever trying to to highlight the key message about exercise is good for you and so when you're pregnant you know it's not an illness you're just pregnant and you're just trying mm -hmm. to carry on the best you can and if you can feel happier then then you should do it Rob, I think n nobody would, would argue with that, that exercise is good for you, especially when you're pregnant. But I think it's, it's the idea of running, isn't it? It's, you know, with a baby inside you uh, and, and jogging in, in, in the park or whatever that might, might damage the child in some way. What else would you recommend? If, if, if a pregnant woman didn't fancy jogging, what else could mm. she do that would be equally beneficial but maybe not quite so uh, dramatic? Well, you know, moving, Just being moving. active. The thing with running is, if you're a runner, there's absolutely nothing wrong with running when you're pregnant. What we don't recommend is that people who haven't run in the past become pregnant and then suddenly start doing things more and more. You've got to remember that they're not in the Avengers, so you don't need to start doing heroics and, yeah. and doing sort of more and more than you're used to doing. 
but absolutely anything's really, really okay. There are a few safety points you need to watch if you are pregnant and you're going to exercise. Your joints are more lax than they, than they used to be because you have to, to, to get a baby out. So extreme ranges of motion aren't really the thing to do. Also very fast changes of direction aren't the things to do. You don't want to be lying on your back after about 20 weeks because it, it can compress the, the blood vessels. So no sit-ups. And and sit-ups are, are really out after, after that point in time. But really anything within moderation, do what you're used to doing. Listen to your body. As Nell says, your body knows. You know, you know what's good for you and what's bad for you. You'll have days when you feel like you don't want to do very much and you've got to be able to adjust the session to suit that. But really, exercise is good for pregnant ladies and it's good for the fetus. It's actually shown that, that, that people who exercise, the baby survives the, the labour in, in a better state. So it's good. Good, good. Rob, Nell, thank you very much. We are out of time, but thank you very much for joining us today. Nell, are you off for a run now? I am, I'm all dressed. I'm <laughs> go. Good luck. Good I love it, I love it. That's not my idea of a bank holiday Monday, I have to say, but there we go. Um, there we go, the time now is...